Hello everyone, this is Kushag. Welcome to our YouTube channel DevTown. If you like the content, do like, state and subscribe to our channel. So you will be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. As you can see, our today's topic is introduction to HTML. In this topic, we would be seeing how the HTML came into the existence, what was the need for inventing the HTML, and why HTML is so famous. So let's start. So the first question arises who invented the HTML. So let's see the person that who invented the HTML. So this is the person who is responsible for developing the HTML. As you can see, his name is Tim Berners-Lee. So Tim Berners-Lee invented the first version of the HTML in 1993. So during the era of 1990, there were various standardized uh, languages such as C, C++, Java for uh, various purpose such as for coding and for performing mathematical operations and every other things so this person thought of inventing a standardized language for a web development so what was the major reason behind developing the html so uh, during the era of 1990 there were various browsers so let me just tell you just give me a second let me move so during the era of 1990 there were various browsers such as your uh, mozilla firefox or internet explorer so whenever you have to publish any kind of a website in the internet explorer you have to code in the language that internet explorer understands so on, on the other hand whenever you want to publish the website in the mozilla firefox you have to code in the language that mozilla firefox understands so this was the major issue that the coders were uh, facing so even now like learning different languages and uh, moving ahead with the different language is the major issue which basically the coder face so what they thought of like the basic organizations or the big big organization they came together and they thought of developing a language that can be understood by every browser so they invented uh, an organization that is known as World Wide Web Consortium. So what is World Wide Web Consortium? World Wide Web Consortium was the organization who was uh, responsible for developing a language that can be understood by every browser and that can be uh, developed as a standard for developing a base structure for the web development so do in the 1993 or like in the 1999 the worldwide web consortium came with the first version of their html that is html4 and that was referred to as standardized version of the html and that can be done that was understood by every browser so this was the basic theory behind the uh, introduction of the html and like how html came into the existence and who invented the html so now let's understand what is the basic terminologies that are used in the html so html basically stands for hypertext markup language so what is uh, hypertext and what is markup language so html can be divided into two parts that is your hypertext and markup language uh, when you develop a various kinds of html pages you need to connect them you need to link those html page together so linking of the two or more html page is considered as hypertext or hyperlinking of two or more pages on the other hand what is markup language uh, markup languages are those languages that uh, mark the beginning and the ending of a particular thing with the help of a tag or name or keyword so with this a uh, name tag or keyword it helps the browser to understand like yeah this is the particular content that is to be placed at the top uh, that is your footer and this is the content for the body and this is the content for your uh, your you can say footer basically yeah so it uh, it helps the browser to understand like which content to be placed on the sidebar and which content to be placed in the top and which content to be placed in the bottom so this was the two uh, sub parts of the html that is hyperlinking and markup language so long let's move ahead uh, students there is a major difference between the markup language and the programming language 
स्टूडेंट्स जनरली रेफर एस टी एम एल एज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एस टी एम एल इज़ नॉट अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इट्स अ मार्कअप लैंग्वेज सो स्टूडेंट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर इज़ अज डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एंड द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस आर दोज लैंग्वेजेस दैट हेल्प्स यू टू परफॉर्म अ मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेशन कैलकुलेशन और योर प्रोसेसिंग थिंग्स बट मार्कअप लैंग्वेजेस आर दोज लैंग्वेजेस दैट हेल्प्स यू टू डिज़ाइन द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ योर वेबसाइट सच एज एस टी एम एल एंड द एग्जाम्पल फॉर द programming languages can be your c c++ java so markup languages helps you to uh, define the structure the base the backbone and all other things of the web pages let's move ahead as you can see uh, on my left hand side this is the basic structure this is the basic need of the backbone as you can see like your body cannot be moved with the without the skeleton skeleton is the backbone which is needed so as well as the html is needed to develop the web page you can't move ahead in the web development field without html so as you can see on my left hand side this is the basic backbone that is developed with the help of html and then we move ahead with uh, and beautify our web pages with the css and add functionalities in with the help of javascript as you can see on my right hand side like this page has the functionalities such as login button and all other things that is added with the help of javascript and you can see the colors that is added like blue color and all other things these are added with the help of css and on the right hand side the basic structure the backbone that is designed such as added the image and like what will be the buttons that to be added such as home mobile accessories and all other things these button buttons are to be added so this base structure is designed with the help of html so that's why the html is very famous html is the backbone of the web development so uh, there is a lot of confusion students like which uh, basically standard format should we use for html because there are various versions of html such as html4 html4.0.1 and your html5 so there is a huge difference between the html4 and the html5 students so i would be telling what is the basic difference that were introduced in the html5 and that are not there in the html4 so in the html5 students there were uh, semantic tags that were introduced so what are semantic tags uh, semantic tags are those tag students like which have their particular meaning they specify that yeah uh i'm for this particular uh, thing only such as nav nav is a particular semantic tag that is used for the nav part and your footer so footer is a particular semantic tag that is used to design the footer or your section sections are those tag that helps you to design uh, your body or the main gist of your website and uh, so this semantic tags were introduced in the html5 but before the semantic tags for the in the html4 what we used to do is we used to use the div and we used to give the meaning to that tag so it was very difficult for the screen readers to understand like what this particular section is for and like what for what purpose this particular section is used so in html5 the semantic tags came into the existence which uh, help you to design the websites more interactively and like it helps the screen reader to screen re read the screens very carefully and all other things and the next thing that was introduced in the html5 was that uh, is the audio video and image tag earlier in the html4 if you have to add any kind of an audio video or image you have to do it with the help of the flash player it cannot be done like directly there was no direct tag that to that can be put and you can just insert the image but in the html5 there was a direct tag that was introduced like image audio and video tag which can put the image audio or video in your website and the third thing that was introduced was the a javascript like in the html5 supports the javascript but there was no support for the javascript in the html4 and the later on like html4 is not understand by new browsers because it is very old so i would definitely recommend you to go with the html5 only students if you are new in the web development field and if you want to uh, grow your career in the web development field so you can start your career now with by learning the html5 because this is the basic gist that you have to learn and then only you can proceed your career in the web development 
थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे